Do you guys remember in the last episode when the weird machine blew up this whole desert? Yeah, this thing. It was no fun at all. I had to clean it up all again. But you know what? While I was here in the desert cleaning up all the stuff around the weird machine, I had some time actually looking at the weird machine and I found out something that I hadn't seen before. All these instruments, they actually changed something. You can see it here on the side. Look, it was on defense mode. That is why everything exploded. It was defending itself. So that kind of makes sense, right? What about we change that mode with this, I think, comparator here? Let me click that. That should switch the mode into something else. Portal mode? Well, that sounds interesting. What about we check this out? Let's go into the machine now. So when you hear portal mode, you instantly think of some teleportation device, right? I wonder if that is true. So let me step into this and see if it works. We get actually teleported to some other place. And oh my god, it worked. We are in the end. This can be pretty scary, so I guess we could Get up better go back into the weird machine. Oh no, the weird machine is also gone. Seems like it teleported two times. So, what are we doing now? I mean, we are now in the end and the machine did his thing, so... Okay, let's figure this out. Okay, so the portal mode of the weird machine worked as it seemed, but this is the end and... Who I mean, are you? Why are carrots. you here? You're not an gold Enderman, gold. you're a wandering trader. Mm. And there I are mean, more guys. You have a gold farm too, you would think. Hey. But Hello, what are you guys doing? Uh, oh, hey Mega. Oh, hey Mega. We're, um, uh, we we're thinking of going on an end raid actually. End raid, huh? That's interesting. Uh, why is there a wandering trader behind you? Yeah, I don't know how that guy ended up here. But end raid, you say? I'm in. Let's do it. Ah, awesome, yeah, let's go. Okay, let's do it. With that, the three hunters went out to get some shulker boxes. Sadly, the young Errington wasn't as handy with his bow, so it took him five shots to hit the first shulker. But it was just hit and not killed. It was suffering, so Harwood went in and released it from his pain. Thank you, Harwood. Even though Harwood did nothing wrong, the other shulkers got angry at him for releasing the other shulker from his pain and they started to attack him relentlessly from all over the place. The young Erring just stood there, didn't knew what he had to do as he was a young hunter, and didn't know how to react in such a stressful situation. Harwood was clever enough to use his shield, while Mega floated above the ground and fell down, but he rem remembered that he already had wings and can recover really easily. So then all three of them get back to hunt those Shalkas, and get the nice loot they all come for and wanted to have. And we are back from our end raid and this is the loot that we actually got. I think this is a pretty good loot. So we got two spare wings, some gold ingots, a lot of shulker shells, a fair amount of end rods, that is something we didn't really share but Howard also gave me two dragon heads since I missed to loot those and then just some random enchanted diamond and uh, gear and tools. So I'd say that's a pretty good loot. And if you want to see more of that and raid shenanigans, Harwood actually uploaded the whole thing as long play. So go over there and check it out. We had a lot of fun together with Errington and it is really worth a watch. So go over there and watch that, after you watch my video. So later. I just saw our neighbor Leone over in the town and I remembered that I didn't really introduce myself as a neighbor, so what do we think about going over and introduce ourselves? With the little running gag that I have going with her, that I always mess up her name really badly. So. I have another joke prepared that I always wanted to tell her, so what about we go over there and 
ask her that stupid question that has been in my mind for quite a while now. Let's go over there. Ouch. Oh, hey there, neighbor. Hey, Mega. I, How I, are you? I'm fine. I always wanted to ask you a question, but I don't want to be rude, you know? Just, I really just want to uh, know. Okay? Okay. So, why don't you like lemons? The problem is they take away heart while you're in the vault, right? So you can eat them to extend the time, but unfortunately, they they take away some of your health. So it's like a, kind of like a, a bad situation. And personally, I think that if you rely on bitter lemons too much, you're a bad player. Okay, so you choose your name, Lemon Nay, just because of Vault Hunters? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that threw me off. I mean, I thought it's your it's your van, so I installed the plates, spelled your name absolutely correct, right? Yes. Right. C and you. Very correct. Absolutely okay. correct. So that's just. Although. That's that's just. I'm a little bit German. worried about the triangle. Yeah, that's just German. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. Yeah, German. German does have those little dots and triangles of everything, right? We actually don't have any triangles, but yeah. So my name is very special because there's a triangle in it. Because you are very special. <laughs> so yeah, after this little shenanigans with Lione, I thought it's time to build another little farm. And I actually never built a goat horn farm. So I thought it might be a cool idea to get some goats since we have some icy area close to our base over there or the farming area base that is. So let's move the goats over there and then build up a little farm for those. Since goat horns are a lot of fun and on a multiplayer server that always is a good thing. So let me move those goats over there real quick and then I show you a little farm that you can build for your own. And here we have our... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, fella. Slow down. I'm not ready yet. So here we have our farm design. You just need a little closed up space and that can be cobblestone or anything really. And just put in some goats and you're done with your farm. Easy as that. Just let the goats run into something and you can move away and they drop their horns and bada bing bada boom you got a goat horn farm. That is really easy. You can't build it like that. What? What do you mean I can't build it like that? It works. It has to look good. Well, I mean, I could make it prettier, I guess. Imagine. Or the cobble gone. Okay, all cobble gone. And now? Visualize a boulder out of different stone types. Hmm, all right, that looks good, I'd say. Add snow and ice to it to give it the right feel. Oh, I see, like a goat habitat. Yes, the viewers will like it that way. You might be right, Jess. I give it a try. So what you are trying to say is that viewers would like it more? when a build looks better, right? So this should be a little bit better, correct? Wait. Where are you? Eh, however. So yeah, I finished this goat farm. And now that it looks a little bit better, we can actually show it. <laughs> so yeah, this goat farm, it's not as productive as I would like it to be, but you know, how it works and i actually bred up some goats over here and as you can hear ow some of them are actually screaming goats ow boy these really pack a punch <laughs> let me talk guys so yeah with the pretty simple design ow where the goats can actually just ram into this armor stance try to ram into this armor stance i should say and then just hit their heads onto the stone and lose their heads and if I free cam here real quick, you can see I got 
Ow! I can't freak him. Okay. So, let, let me get out of this first. There we go. So, yeah. Over here, we have our collection area. Here. And we got some of the horns over here. I sorted that a little bit. And now I can try to freak him. Yeah, we have a little hopper minecart going down on the um, armor stands. And by that we can collect the horns that the goat loses when it rams into the stone. As I said, it's not a perfect design, but it works for me. And I also AFK'd it a little bit and bred up some of the goats. And we now have all the goat horns that there are. And those are all the same in the row. So we got a pretty fair amount, I'd say. And with that, we could give those to the others or sell them maybe. But at this point, I'm not sure I'm going to build any shop on this server, at least for this season. So maybe we just give them to them. And these goats are really noisy. <laughs> so, Eric, do you know what is kind of odd? What? In, here in your in your sheep bin there are a lot of sheep and the one that is the fattest one just the big boy over there yeah never saw him eating it is strange <laughs> yeah I, it feels like he didn't even like the grass i know such a big boy for not eating grass yeah now he's looking directly <laughs> at me. <laughs> you look tasty. <laughs> okay, we had a pretty good test run on the teleportation mode of the weird machine. And I think I'm now be able to remodel the weird machine into something more useful for us. And more controllable. Since the weird machine teleported itself away after we used it. And that is something we won't be able to handle if we teleport to somewhere different. So let me see what we can do about this and let me see if I can really remodel the weird machine. I did it. I actually did it. I managed to remodel the weird machine into something different. Let's have a look at this. This is the all new weird machine. Some of the copper got some scratches, but it should work as we want. And I am also able to type in something for the portal mode, a destination chosen by us, not something random. So what about we test something like this, a portal to Ostercrack. Hello and welcome back to Megas Block Trivia. In this show I explain you what blocks are the best blocks and in this episode I'm going to show you the most useful block you ever had. It is the stone block. Right, that is the block you need for your very first stone tools and also it gives you the opportunities for really cool buildings with stone blocks, cobblestone and other stone variants. Everyone these days uses stone bricks, stone slabs and other stone variants. So by that, stone is just the best block you will ever get and is one of the first blocks you will ever get. So take care, until next time, bye!